I'm Joanne Clinton with a five-star review for ACMI TV. For this episode, I have chosen the much talked about and somewhat controversial It Ends With Us, starring Blake Lively and Justin Baldani. This film is rated R for adults with a running time of two hours and 11 minutes. Written by Colleen Hoover, and the screenplay was written by Christine Hall, and it was directed by Justin Baldani. This two-hour-plus production brings us into the life of Lily Bloom, a woman chasing her dreams of being an entrepreneur in the city of Boston. Lily meets and falls in love with neurosurgeon Ryle Kincaid. This romance leads them into a toxic marriage, one riddled with violence and emotional manipulation. Lily is mentally and emotionally brought back to her privileged but abusive childhood home in Maine. Lily's recall shifts between the pain of watching her father abuse her mother and the joy of being 16 and in love for the first time. In the midst of coping with life in the present, she has a chance meeting with her first love, Atlas Corrigan, played by Brandon Sklenner. Atlas is no longer an awkward 16-year-old boy. He is now a chef and owner of a highly successful restaurant. And yes, Atlas is still in love with Lily. Will Ryle and Lily's marriage last? Is she capable of breaking the generational cycle of abuse? Will she have her happily ever after? I encourage you to find the answers for yourself. It Ends With Us takes place in Boston, according to the storyline. However, the way the movie is shot leaves a true Bostonian to question the validity of this claim. The acting and writing, on the other hand, were impressive. With that, here is my review. I give it four out of five stars. It ends with us loses a star due to lackluster cinematography. Some scenes are a little out of focus. However, it was well worth the price of admission. For ACMI TV, I'm Joanne Clinton. See you soon for another five-star review. ACMI productions are only made possible with your support. Visit patreon.com ACMI to learn how you can help.